In this video, we'll show you how to evacuate a Thomas Built Safety Liner C2 school bus propane tank using a liquid fuel evacuation tank. In order to perform the evacuation, you'll need the tool seen here. The liquid fuel evacuation tank limits the amount of wasted liquid propane by capturing, retaining, and transferring the fuel back into the bus's fuel tank. Prior to starting, apply the parking brake, shut down the engine, and chalk the tires. Begin by locating the supply and return valves of the propane tank at the rear of the bus. To shut off the supply valve, turn the valve handle clockwise until it stops. Do the same for the return valve. After shutting off the valves, you're ready to release the pressure from the supply and return lines. Slowly loosen the lines at the supply and return lines where they connect to the valves. Loosen until a white mist appears. When the mist begins to disappear, loosen the lines a little further until there is absolutely no pressure. Now we're ready to connect the service evacuation hose. Begin by locating the service valve on the underside of the bus's propane tank near the center. Make sure the service valve is turned all the way off by turning it clockwise until it stops. Then remove the cap from the valve. Connect the service evacuation hose to the service valve and the fuel evacuation tank's filler valve. With the tanks connected, we're ready to drain the fuel. Slowly open the service valve on the bus tank by turning it counterclockwise. The service valve is equipped with excess flow protection, and if the flow exceeds approximately 2.4 gallons per minute of fuel, the excess flow will close. If this happens, you'll hear a click and the service valve will need to be closed and reopened slowly to restart the fuel transfer process. Now slightly open the vapor valve on the evacuation tank. This creates a pressure differential between the C2 bus tank and the evacuation tank that allows the fuel to flow. Once the flow of liquid has stopped, turn off all valves and disconnect the evacuation hose. While we've successfully transferred a majority of the fuel, some propane still remains in the bus's tank that must be drained before the bus can be serviced. It is recommended that you burn off the remaining fuel with a certified propane flare stack. To do this, connect the evacuation hose from the bus's fuel tank to the flare stack, open the service valve and flare stack valve, and safely ignite the fuel. Once you've burned off all the remaining fuel in the tank, you're ready to service the bus's fuel tank. After servicing, you need to transfer the fuel from the evacuation tank back into the bus fuel tank. First, re-tighten the supply and return lines to the bus's tank. Then connect the evacuation hose to the liquid service valve on the evacuation tank and the fill connection on the side of the bus. Slowly open the liquid supply valve on the evacuation tank until it stops. Verify that the evacuation tank controller is in the off position and then connect the controller power leads to a 12-volt automotive battery. To start the transfer process, turn the controller switch on. Once the transfer process is complete, turn the controller switch off before closing the liquid valve and removing the hose from the C2 fill connection. Open the supply and return valves on the C2 bus tank. Start the bus and spray approved leak check solution on the supply and return valve and check for any leaks. If a leak is present, tiny bubbles will form on the hose and fittings. Confirm there are no leaks and you've successfully evacuated and refueled a Thomasville bus propane tank with an evacuation tank.